Do you find yourself thinking on how to appropriately communicate to someone or in a group? Maybe you find thinking hard on what is the proper word to use in any talking situation. You're on the right track. We will talk about the language register. Hi, we're going to talk about the five different types of language registers. But before that, let's first define what is language register. It is a variety of language used for a particular purpose or in a particular communicative situation. Different language and levels of formality are used in different situations and scenarios. Language register is the level of formality with which you speak. Different situations and people call for different registers. Language registers has five different types. These are frozen or static, formal, consultative, casual, and intimate. But these registers are used depends on who you are talking to, what you are talking to, and what situation you are in. Frozen or static register. It is a type of register, written or oral acts that never change. They sometimes include old grammar or vocabulary, mostly related to culture, religions, law, or customs of community. Frozen register usually has a specific audience, purpose, and context. For example, our own national anthem Lupang Hinirang plays only for our country. The Bible, which devoted followers are reading. This register is often learned of a person and passed down from generation to generation to preserve it. Formal register. It may read in or oral acts that follow a similar rules about their form. This is much serious type of register. It mostly indicates about information or facts to explain an idea to others. For example, a state of the nation address of the president. The survey form for 4 P's applicants. To have a good public speech or a past school paper, formal type of register is what you need. Consultative register. When we heard the word consult, most of us may think a patient consulting to a doctor. For what? To help. And that is also the purpose of consultative register. This register is used to consult with the experts or specialists in something. Through this register, there is an exchange of information or conversation between the helper and the helpy. For example, a meeting with the doctor or consulting your professor for your research paper. Learning how to use consultative register will help you get what you want or need from someone. Casual register, bonding time or talking with your friends, team building in the field trip. These are examples of casual register. Different from the first three registers, casual register don't follow standard societal rules but follow the specific rules and norms of the group. For what? To get involved and be part of your desired group. These acts are very casual. They are typically spoken but also include online chats, emails, text, etc. Intimate register, sometimes called private register, that used in writing and speech with close family member and close friends. Just like casual, it follows the norms of the people in the relationships. For example, the calling of your parents to each other, like darling. The secret talks of one of your two friends to each other. By this register, it develops the relationship of the two or the group with close relationship. Now that we have defined each language registers and its examples, to finally understand it more, let's watch this music video. Let's try this one. It's like an ice in the summer night Almost a script with praise, that's how it like Never change, just old grammar Open, learn, 
Frozen or static, that is the term If you want to be cool, just go where the flow Informal, don't stand Cash flow, that is the gang These are all the things we call Language register in solidity Frozen formal Cash flow intimate These are level of formality With which you speak Depends on your audience or topic So you must do carefully pick I'm in love with you Girl you're so fine Come let's enjoy the night Those endearments witness goes to intimate I hope you get and let them separate if you want to be good, orally understood Paperworks may not burst, formal types not occurs These are all the things we call Language register, consultative, frozen, formal, casual, these are level of formality with which you speak depends on your audience or topic so you must do carefully speak Consultative is the last but not least Expertise, specialist You must never get this These are all the things we call Language register Consultative, frozen, formal Cash or intimate These are level of formality with which you speak Depends on your audience or topic So you must do carefully speak Language register Frozen formal Cash for these are level of formality with which you speak depends on your audience or topic so you must do carefully be And there you have it. Those are the five different registers in language that you can use to have an effective communication. But for the last topic we were going to talk about, this is the social act. Social act, a variety of language that reflects social variation in language use according to certain factors related to the social group of the speaker, such as education, occupation, income level, etc. According to Peter Trudgell, social act is a variety which is thought of as being related to its speaker's social background rather than geographical background. For examples, the most important social dialect in America is called African American Vernacular English. Speakers of Jewish and Italian ethnicity differentiated from the standard variety or Black English. Taste in India often determines which variety of language a speaker use. Christian, Muslim, and Jewish Badet speak different variety of Arabic. That's all. I hope you get knowledge by this simple presentation. Thank you for watching. See you.